Hey guys, what's up? New day, new funny video, and uh, we we're gonna play with with my uh, my stash. And uh, you remember these one stuff? This is a tantrum capacitor. And uh, we tried today to recover some tantalum, just to recover, not to refine, because I'm still uh, not, not very familiar with that process, but I know how to recover tantalum. So we will try to take out this from that canister and... Uh, okay, let's start. First... We're gonna see how much tantalum we got. And this is just metallic tantalum. Scale on zero and let's go. Here we got 352 gram of metal tantalum. Got some wire there. Couple of big ones and uh, the mostly middle one. So, uh, this stuff, some of them, maybe it's uh, from, uh, maybe got silver canister, but uh, I don't know which one because I can chuck them all. And uh, uh, we got some uh, plastic over the canister. So, this is be a very big problem we must with the knife remove all that plastic because if we put that straight in the acid the acid will not have enough contact with it and uh, with the metal and uh, it will be a very slow process what we trace inside is this this is a tantalum See that this is a small one from that from this one and these are actually from uh, this one so what we're gonna do first we will take a knife and uh, we'll take tantalum and just we will remove that little plastic foil, see that, from all capacitor, because that foil is cover almost 95% uh, of that canister, so they will stop acid to react with metal, got one stubber one there, see that, and uh, now we got clean canister. Let's take another one. This one, this first is be a very stubborn one. And these are not. See that? I think that actually is not this one with the foil is not from silver. That foil protect that metal from uh, rusting. And uh, we got that middle one. I could uh, just burn that. And uh, I just start to think about I just burned that and uh, remove all that foils. But this will remain me with a lot of junk which I need to put in, in the acid. So, on the end, I need a lot time to separate. See that? Foils. And we got very, very small one here, this one. And these are actually, it's uh, easiest for remove that foils. 
Okay. easy just put that up see that see the wires take the, for the wire and uh, put them on the heat don't worry they will not explode and just take them down see that Let's try another one. Our tantalum. Put them on the we take them for on the wire. Put them on the heat and just remove with the knife. You see that? Uh, this is a smell smelly job. But it's much quicker and uh, you will need a much less acid. See that? This is our tantalum. I try this little one. Yeah, success. Let's try another little one. See that? Just fell off. And this is your temple. So this is tantalum and this is just canister. Okay, so I don't have that fat nerves uh, to remove all that foils from canister, so I just on that little one I just scratch with a knife and uh, open that metal to acid and I hope that that will be good that that will work so now we will just add nitric acid to that okay
Okay guys, so after 24 hours, here we got some plastic and uh, we got some slug, white slug on the bottom and uh, trust me, isn't silver. So what we're gonna do next? We will decan this and uh, clean up our tantalum. Okay. Okay. We decan our solution. This is our solution. We we'll leave that uh, settle down. Let's see if there are any sol uh, silver in the matrix solution. And uh, this is our plastic. And actually, this is our tantalum. See that? So now we're gonna clean that, separate that, and we keep our tantalum. Okay, guys, so this is a nitric solution from that canister, and uh, here we got some salt water. This is a uh, tap water saturated with a uh, salt, and now we will see if there actually some silver in that solution. Yeah, we got some silver. So some of that canister. They are the silver or maybe got some silver inside. Okay. It's not much, but we don't want to waste that. So we will let that settle down and uh, we will see how much silver we got. Hey guys, see that? After maybe a uh, 20 minute, we got some uh, silver chloride deposit on the bottom. So now we are wait that to settle down more, and we are filter that. After that, we were convert that with the lye and sugar, and see how much silver we got from it. Okay. Hey guys, so this is our waste stuff from that canister. We got some foils, we got some plastic, and uh, mostly foils and the plastic. And this is our tantalum, clean tantalum. Look very good. So we got there, we got some pink one. See that? We got some green one. We got some a gray one. We got some blue one. And this is mostly old color. And look very good. I got only two or three big one. Uh, so in this form you can get much bigger price for your tantalum than in a canister form, okay? So this is go to my stock stock pot where I keep all my precious metal. I don't keep gold or uh, silver, but I keep Indium, I keep this kind of form of tantalum, I keep some other stuff, some copper. And now we're gonna put that on scale to see how much we got, okay? Okay. Now we will see 
how much actually we got. Okay, we spill a couple. Okay, this is all. So we got nineteen point three gram of tantalum. So nineteen. 0.3 gram of tantalum from all that canister. Okay. And guys, after we finish converting that silver and melting with the Kakao brother, see that we got four point five gram of silver. The problem with the Kakao brother is that you can get uh, the round button. It's very ugly, but it's do the job. So okay, we got. Uh, 4.5 gram of silver from that canister. So some of that canister contains silver, and uh, probably they contain some silver inside. Okay. And guys, I hope you like that video. This is just the part one. The next part is uh, how to recover tantalum. From uh, this form, this is not all tantalum. This is I got some silver capacitor, but uh, wait the next part and see what we got. What we got more for you? Okay, guys. So see you around the next part. How to recover tantalum part two and subscribe, have fun, may go. Cheers.